Me neither. I'm not here. Good morning, everybody. This is Moshe, the electric Israeli. I'm here with the wife, and she is the driver, of course. And we are on a, running some errands. Uh, <coughs> today's topic is going to be the the Bolt TV and um, and the Tesla Model Model Three, and then a very uh, interesting announcement I have to make. Um, but before we do that, I just want to give you a little update on the Volt. The Volt has now almost 4,500 miles. No, 50, 5,500 5, miles. But 45 of them are EV miles, which is 81% of the, uh, of the uh, total, total miles driven, 81%. And this is 81% of at least 40 miles a day uh, commute, at least. Sometimes it's a little bit more, but... So that is pretty impressive. Right now we're showing... Uh, we just left the house, we're showing a 45 mile rated range. Uh, the temperature is 39 degrees, but it feels like it's 10. Very cold. Yesterday it was snowing. It's April something. Anyway. Spring has not sprung in here yet. Uh, the average MPG, however, is 150 miles a gallon. And I told that to my wife yesterday, and her reaction was, is it good? Yes, it's good. It's very good. You understand that? Okay, it's very good. Anyhow, so, a month ago or so, I put out a video comparing the Chevy, I mean the Bolt EV, to the, uh, <clears throat> to the uh, Tesla Model 3. It, it has the most views in my channel, over 12,000. It actually made it to Inside EV um, online blog. Um, I also want to say that I passed the 250 subscribe, subscribers. Please, please subscribe more. I need more fans. I need more friends because more people who are subscribing spread the word and we are part of this revolution. Now, as you know, I did put my name on the Tesla Model 3 without my wife's knowledge, but she was great. She's like, okay, when is it? I said, eh, two years, three years, eh, we have time. <laughs> uh, so there's more stuff coming out on the Tesla Model 3. And the more stuff that is coming make it more interesting. Obviously, there are more than 325,000 reservations so far. So far. I'm sure it's going to go <coughs> up a little. Whatever the number is. Production supposedly starting on uh, the end of next year. So let's say, just for argument's sake, let's say I'm a uh, number 100,000. I will get the car if I decide to buy it. Now you can put a reservation, doesn't mean you're gonna buy it. So uh, let's say I decide to buy it. When do I get it? The, a, the end of 18, the beginning of 19, middle of 19. So what is the path for Tesla success? What is the path? The path is, in my opinion, at least for the first year, let's say year 18 really if it's the end of 17 production starts end of 18 at least a hundred thousand can they produce a hundred thousand model three cars can they produce two hundred thousand the following year and when will they get to five hundred thousand a year according to their mass master plan which is 2020 can they do that this is the key for this for the success this is the key for their, uh, to make this car a mainstream car. Because, if you remember from the la my last video about this topic was that they have done it right. They laid out the infrastructure before they produced the massive uh, car. And according to their plans next year, the whole United States and some parts of Canada will be covered. Now, that is done. That is a huge step. That's what gives them an advantage on on Chevy and on Nissan and on BMW and all the other car makers who are making electric cars just because they have to, not because they want to, not because they're interested in, they're not. 
Now, the cars are good. We have a Nissan Leaf. What's the matter? There's oh. gonna be a star. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> wife uh, discovered the, the second coming of the Lord. A Starbucks is opening up. Right at my supermarket. Right in our supermarket. Yay. Congratulations. Okay, can I continue? Please, sorry All to right. interrupt. That's okay. Starbucks is very important. So, where was I? So, what gives them, what, what I'm trying to say, that the other car, other electric cars are good. We love our Leaf. We love our Volt. I'm sure the Bolt TV would be great. Um, really, all of them, they're very nice cars. The whole concept is great. Now, the, all the other pure EV cars so far are commuters, which is fine. I bought a commuter car. I love it. I have 10,000 miles on it, and I'm going to drive it and give it to my sons. Whatever. It's great. But um, that's not... A long range car and even the 200 miles Bolt TV is not a long range but it's a longer range but it's not it is until the infrastructure and the commitment from the company is to make this an everyday long range short range everyday use of a car when that happens that will be a real revolution but I feel I feel what we felt if you remember what we felt at the iPhone revolution. It was coming and it was coming and coming and <laughs> boom, all of a sudden the revolution happened. So if in the next two years Tesla can produce at least a hundred thousand a year and then double it up every year until they get to half a million, then you say that the EV revolution took place and it's going to be the extinction, God willing, the extinction of the uh, internal combustion engine, aka ice car. Do you remember that from last time? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the the extension of the ice car, which will be the best thing for us humans and all other species on the planet. It will be the first start. The other things that we need to do, but that's not the subject of this video. Uh, so curious to see. Maybe GM and other companies will get together and decide to 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 put money together. They have more money than Tesla. They sell more cars than Tesla sold today in like a month. So I think they have an, enough money to create. But it doesn't have to be them, or couldn't it be some sort of outside it could company be. that it could be. that decides? Yes, to, it like, could be. Like gas stations aren't car companies. That is correct. That is hundred percent correct. But this is uh, but this is about uh, commitment and. Um, and mission. This is about their mission. So it's not their mission to accelerate sustainable uh, sustainable transportation. It's not their mission. If it will be their mission, then they can absolutely. For example, Tesla has more uh, destination chargers in Manhattan than gas station. So they go to hotel, to resort, to whatever. He said, how about if you guys put uh, this 40 amp or 80 amp Tesla charger? They are all over the country. So you, we can go on a trip and go to hotels and whatever that do have one or two uh, uh, stalls of uh, Tesla. And you can go out of the, uh, so to speak, out of the supercharger line. So it, it's not that they have to necessarily do it. I mean, they have to do something maybe on the major highways, but they definitely can team up uh, with others. I mean, we use, uh, we have the uh, EVgo car that we use. We have the... Uh, What's the other one called? I always forget. Uh, charge point. Charge point that we use, uh, and uh, so there are options. There are cooperations that you. I mean, government and business can put together, but it has somebody has to want to do this. All right, so we'll see what happens. The last thing I wanna, I have an announcement. I told you that I am obviously the electric Israeli, and I'm not the electric Israeli because I'm from China. I'm electric Israeli because I'm from Israel. So. I'm going to go to Israel next month on my annual uh, pilgrimage to do some family visit and to uh, do some business. So I am going to have a special episode about Israel uh, uh, green technology, uh, especially water uh, treatment and, and water technology, which is the best in the world. Israel is a very interesting country. And here's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about energy and solutions. We're not going to talk about politics. 
please do not bring it up. I will not answer it. This is not the venue. That's not what we do. So next year, next year, next month, I'm gonna, I'm gonna broadcast from the Holy Land, from all kinds of spots in Israel, and talk about uh, natural gas explorations. Uh, we can talk about uh, the flop, the, the disaster flop of the better, better place company, and I'm gonna tell you why they fell apart. It was a great idea, but too bad. And we'll go, especially we're going to talk about uh, uh, how Israel, so how Israel became a water superpower, even though there's very little water in Israel. So how did they do that, and how they can help the rest of the world, and how they do help the rest of the world in that manner? So that's going to be interesting. It's going to be in the beginning of May. So stay tuned for that. So until next time, please subscribe to my channel, so we can spread the good word. And change the world, change the world. One electric car at a time. One electric car at a time. She's doing it under protest, but that's okay. I still love you. Okay. Good weekend.